Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome to the first episode of Rogue Lands, an exciting new title by Sean Young. So, Sean Young is responsible for Magicite. I don't know if you guys played that awesome roguelike that came out a little while back, but Rogue Lands is his newest project. It was recently on Kickstarter and is now available on Steam. You can check the links in the description below for more details. But the description reads, explore procedurally generated worlds, gather rare resources, craft powerful gear to save the galaxy, coming to PC, Macs, and Linux. So this game from what I've played so far is really, really good. It's also really hard. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Let's go ahead and select play. Now some of the features, it is early access. So some of the features are missing or not available. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start a new character. Uh, we have here Sean, which is a spell blade. There's a bunch of different customizable features you can do. You can change some stuff. Stuff is not in. As you can see, there's only one uniform available. There's a few allegiances you can pick. Uh, jump belt mercenaries sound great. You can change the variance up of the exact class that you have, and you can also change the class. Uh, when you go here, you can change name. We're going to start out with spell, blaze right, spell blade right now. You can change your race as well so this is wanderer so we're gonna play a wanderer spell blade with purple hair <laughs> um no augments available yet as well and this is that like where their starting stats are tech dexterity magic faith some of that is going to play a big part in the type of um i guess when you start leveling up what gains in strength and these are your two perks strength and magic okay so let's go to create and it's a roguelike game so everything is permadeath Basically what happens is the further you get, the more you unlock. So let's go to single player. We will be playing with some friends in future episodes, but right now I just wanted to bring y'all some coverage of the game. So you start off in this little area here, which is pretty simple. Uh, you use A, S, and, and S, A, A, S, and D to walk around and you move with dashes as well you can jump infinitely so i can just he keep hitting my space bar and just continue to jump and use dashes as well it's really really neat you do have some stamina as you can see my stamina is zero out of ten and now it says not enough energy so when that runs around that runs out there's not much you can do about it but all right so let's go down here and this is like your little tutorial tutorial area you'll talk to people gaff guard here says you want to be a galactic cadet huh here's a tip for you newbie jump with space and dash or e and q jump dashing is a lot faster than walking around everywhere and don't forget to enter combat mode right click and pull out your weapon hit the one five one through five keys to use your combat chips all right fair enough so we do have a combat chip when we use it oh hold on if i hit one Ah, right. So that's like to mine resources. If you go into combat mode, you'll see the combat chip is at slot one. So I can activate it and it activates swiftness for me. So now I have the swiftness buff. You can see that as the little square pixels that are coming out. We're not going to do too, too much tutor tutorial stuff. We're going to actually just jump into this and have some fun. So the Desolate Canyon is the first area, I guess, and there's going to be more areas that unlock as the game goes by. What you can do here is you can mine different resources, kill monsters, gain experience, all that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead and... Oh, wow. All right, this is not a weapon that I'm used to here. So it's like a little ranged weapon. Ah, it takes a little while to cast, but that's pretty cool. Very cool. All right, so... Whoa, I gained the level up, strength and magic already, and I also got credits. So you can go back to that place and spin credits to unlock some of the things, kind of like a, a shop or a merchandise or whatever. Let's hit W here. What does that do? Level up and it gives me a bunch of credits and experience, I guess. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I have this little droid. Can I use it to harvest stuff? Uh, wherever your mouse cursor is at, I believe. Aha, so it is grabbing stuff. Tasty herbs. I guess I can heal myself with that? Very cool. All right, let's come over here, and I think I'm going to try to kill these guys. Now, you see that eyeball that's looking at me over there? That's a really bad guy. Really bad guy. If I get too close to him, he will mess me up. All right, and it looks like... You got to kind of time this. Uh-oh. See, usually characters have, like, swords. Aha! Perfect, so I got some XP from that. Let's tab out and use, well not tab out, but all right. 
put my mouse cursor over that. Oh, I'm getting some ore. Very cool. All right. Planet Stone is what it's called. Now, I can't attack this. I, I have to show it to you, I suppose, because it's it's <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack this thing. Y'all ready? Ah! <laughs> Give me away! They're really, really tough. They're not too hard to dodge, but as you can see, they give good XP too. What is this? This looks like some sort of suit of armor. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Swiftness? I cannot capture. Oh, that's the base of that plant. All right. Oh, there's some crystals here too. Let's see. Can I mine those? I sure can. Let's do it again. I like that. Or a, or a claim? I don't. I don't even know how to say that, man. Nice. All right. But butter flutterflies. Uh oh. I made one mad. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We gonna take care of him. Uh huh. Oh, I can hit him through rock too. You just gotta kind of lead him. This is a really cool class. Typically, it's just swinging with a sword and stuff, but this is pretty amazing. All right. Let's get some more of this. Uh, some more of these flutterflies. I don't know what we're gonna use them for, but got my swiftness on. Kill my. <laughs> these things sound like cows, man. I wonder if you can do anything with these. Uh, these flying bull. Uh oh, he looks aggressive. Kill. All right. Let's see if we can do anything with this. Hmm. When one of them comes back... No. Okay, so apparently these things are just obstacles that can hurt you. Very good. I wasn't... I, I didn't really want to find out anyway. Apparently they can... I don't want to see how much damage they do. Alright, I do need to check my inventory in a second here because I know I have some herbs. Let's get into a safe spot. I guess right here is safe enough. All right, if I go to tab, it'll go into my inventory. Mage Gauntlet, that's the weapon that I have. All right, so I do have tasty herbs. How do I... Uh, I'm hitting four and it's not doing anything. All right, um, let's see. Let's hit tab. What can we do here? Mage Gauntlet, Flutterfly, Loot, Tasty Herb. I used one. Oh no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I just pulled it out of my inventory here. Okay, how do you use stuff? You can't right click it because that's just to pull stuff out. Cannot place there. Okay, this is for different slots, I suppose. How do you eat? I want to just eat it. I don't know how to eat it. I have 95 out of 105 XP. I just want to eat the tasty herb. How do you do? How do you do? Maybe you have to use them. Maybe you have to go back using a portal or something like that to get back in. I don't know. We'll 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 go off of it with only this amount for now. I don't know how you use those things. Back in Magicite, there was a crafting system that was pretty neat, but you needed tools in order to do that. And I don't know how to craft. Maybe I should have read the tutorial a little bit more. Alright, so we're doing pretty good right now. This game is real, relatively hard. Alright, I can float a little bit. Man, there's a lot of obstacles here. <gasps> I made it mad! I made it mad, 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 mad! I'm gonna go up here and see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, ow! Ow! Oh, I made everything mad. I made everything mad. I don't know what to do now. I don't know. Oh no! I think we're gonna die here. Oh, not enough stamina, and I died. What awoke? A Ragnarok. Oh, we didn't even get to see it. Oh, man. But we didn't do too bad. Credits collected, 102. XP acquired, 49. Then, we also managed to get 15 enemies defeated, which it could have been a lot more. Bug, bug pots harvested? Trees chopped? Ores mined? 
objective complete one and the loot chest are not available but yet but typically what these do is give you unlocks after the um, after your runs over so <laughs> our age was seven minutes that's pretty rough and when you go to retry you'll see that you just end up right here now I don't think I have any of my experience because I have six out of six and all of my stats are pretty much the same if I go to tab yep you'll see that I lost all my inventory as well so let's check out this tutorial area and see if there's a little bit more that we could find out about crafting all right let's see what we got here what do you have to say sir workbot hello master workbot is here to work you can view your unlocked recipes by clicking on the button in the top right corner of the crafting menu also you can quick craft items and gear that you've already unlocked by clicking on their recipes so what is the craft menu if we go to spacebar jump right click Q and E is dash open inventory if we go to tab tab is not the crafting inventory how do we get to that so the crafting menus are for each workstation if you go here and you click this that shows you what the recipes are that you've unlocked so really really cool you can go to the different stations and see if there's anything that you can craft it's going to be available here which is pretty neat so like alchemy station is right here you have oh a planet selector how about this deep jungle hostile level 10 oh we're not ready for that um, we might as well look at it though to show it off relics captured 099 portal use is infinite I don't know how you portal back portal use is 3 that's a little bit different let's go ahead and go for it also there's a storage that I forgot to show you guys and in this storage you can leave stuff for other cadets so where you're if you come back here and you store things like this magic gauntlet for instance you can have that available for another um, another player so really really neat uh, let's go here and see what we can select desolate canyon did I not select this what does this guy say um, tab key okay we know that escape key okay select aha that's how it happens all right let's go see it's gonna be much harder I already know it's all green and pretty though Oh, the music's dope. Oh, and I got a health pack from one of those guys in the tutorial area, too. Okay, so that is something that's harvestable, harvestable apparently. We get this. Nice. All them credits and stuff. And that's a bad guy. Oh, and this thing's shooting spores at me. All right, creature eyeballs. All right, let's harvest up. Tasty herbs. We got more tasty herbs. So maybe it is like a crafting with a health pack that we have to do. And that is going to be at one of those workstations, I suppose. Uh-oh. Oh, man, there's stuff everywhere. There's... Oh, look at that big one. Oh, no, you don't. We're gonna, we're gonna kite these guys. The music is intense and epic all at the same time. I like how you can shoot this thing through stuff, too. Alright, we managed to survive. Oh, we didn't manage to survive the big one, though. We got a new robot, did we? How did we get that? It did six damage to me straight up. What? <laughs> well, that area was much too hard. Until we really get the basics down on that first area, I think we should stick to that. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, the alchemy spot combined three plants, bugs, or monsters. So, yeah, that's where the tasty herbs would go. Now, how do we get back in? It's the desolate canyon. Okay, let's just go back. We're going to run with that. We're going to be exploring some other character classes in the upcoming uh, in the upcoming episodes too, you guys. But right now, I guess the best thing I could do is just practice. You know, get get good at what I'm already doing. I am the worst shot ever. Now, <laughs> it's about time. All right. I need to also start using my, uh, my Q and E keys to dash. All right, let's get a little bit of this plant loving right here. All right, so 
Is there any... Oh, hold on. I was about to... We in trouble. We're in big trouble. Big, big, big trouble. <laughs> oh, oh, there's too many. Oh my god. I died. <laughs> it's too many at one time, guys. All right. <laughs> Let's go out one more time. Let's go out one more time. We gotta, we gotta do better than that. We did so well on our first run. And now we just like flip-flopping all over the place. All right. Let's start this off right. Let's kill one of these. Okay. Gotta kind of lead them. As long as you don't take too long, I imagine it's not that bad, right? Got a little credits. Yeah, let's take our time on this one. Just be all peaceful like. Oh, didn't hit you? Yeah, almost dead. Man, these things almost not worth it. I mean, it gave me a lot of XP. Actually, what is the XP that it gives me? I'm curious. 13 out of 22. I'm not gonna fight another one just for the sake of argument, but. Now, it did give me quite a few credits too. So I suppose that can't be that bad. Okay, these are all the Flutterflies. This is going to give me some XP as well. Nice. Getting me some strength and stuff. I got to be careful around these things. What is this? This is something new. Why can I not pick this up? Do I already... Is it because I already have one? Or maybe I have to harvest it. Oh. Wait, how did that work? Huh. It's floating around with me now. Oh, okay. It's just because it was highlighted. I was confused. All right. All right. That's pretty good. Man, if this thing had more casting speed, I would love it. It's not that bad once you get the timing. Some enemies is much harder than others with it. Got to go kind of early. There we go. Or very close to it. We can always harvest these. I wonder if you can send out to get stuff. Like, will my droid come over here? Did it just retrieve that for me? Hold on. I gotta chop this tree, too. Okay, that gives me tasty herbs as well. So, one question would be, how do I get back to the beginning? Like... How do I go back to the store, so to speak? I gotta be real, real careful with these. So I can't retrieve the ore that's floating away. What I can do is just slowly hop myself over here. All right, there's gonna be some bad guys coming. I kind of knew that would happen. I shall be prepared though. Some XP for that. Well, my chitin skills are getting better, guys, but I don't know about my, uh... Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to use this thing sooner or later. Alright, let's see. Oh, I gotta be careful around that. Alright, can I use this thing again? No, I sure can't. Alright, is there an access point that I can get back to if I hit escape options no <laughs> can't do anything like that uh, did it have controls Q and E dash tab inventory I don't think there's any way that I can get back if there was a portal I want to I want to be able to portal back I don't know how though well we'll continue I guess without portals if there's a way if there's something I'm overlooking I guess we'll figure it out sooner or later Go ahead and mine this ore up. Maybe we just have to get to the end? That's what I'm gonna try to do. I've gotten all this stuff already. All right. I have an idea. Let's just try to make it to some sort of visible end. I do wanna try to get um, stuff though. 
There we go. Okay. Let's go up here. I'm always forgetting my swiftness, too. Oh, my. Oh, my God. That fast, guys. That fast. Jeez. Oh, well. We're going to learn what's going on sooner or later. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Rogue Lands. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.